So before this video gets started, I'm gonna leave a link down below to sign up for a company called Cover. it's K-O-V-E-R. They're providing uh, benefits, protections, funds, um, so many things to Uber and Lyft drivers right now in this time of need. If you sign up with my link, you'll get 30 days for free. I strongly urge you just to try it out if you drive for any gig apps. It could be, you know, food delivery or ride share. And if you've ever been deactivated or if you ever get deactivated, if you ever go to the hospital, get in a car crash, they have you covered. Again, the company's called K-O-V-E-R. It's free to sign up. All right, now let's get on to the video. What's up everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name's Dylan, thank you so much for coming by. So, the Uber CEO sent me another email. I know what you're thinking, Dylan, wow, you you know, you you must be friends with the, with the Uber CEO. I know, apparently he watches the Rideshare Hub. I don't know, he was part of the Rideshare Hub Club. Hey Dara Koshahari, thanks for watching my video again. If you're watching this, Dara, smash the like button. <laughs> Uh, for the YouTube algorithm, I would really appreciate that. But no, Uber CEO sent me another email. Why? Because his first email wasn't good enough. Um, he sent out, by the way, I understand he didn't just send it to me, okay? My last, you guys were pretty funny in the last comments, last video's comments. He sent out everybody an email, right? In the whole country, not just California, it's everywhere. And he created this proposal, right? You have your gig workers, your independent contractors, and your employees. He wants to create a third type of employment. And Dara Koshahari thinks that, you know, he's the one. Oh, the, the government has been um, suing you and telling you to make your drivers employees. And you say, well, no, let's, I have a better idea. G Dara, they don't want to, they don't want to hear your new idea. They want, they just want you to pay your drivers more. They realize that Uber drivers are not getting enough money, yet they still are going out and working because, you know, that's like the best way to make money right now. They just need more money and they need, they need health benefits and paid time off and paid sick leave and overtime pay. Anytime a driver works over 40 hours, pay him time and a half or pay him double time. And Dar goes, well, yeah, I mean, we we do have billions of dollars that we could easily give them, but yeah, no, I think we're gonna try to extend this lawsuit. I think that's what they're doing, guys. Um, I think that's what they're doing. So Uber decided to send out another email. You will not believe what he said. <sighs> this is absolutely crazy, and I'm honestly quite fed up with this, and I might have to switch over to I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I might have to go. I don't know. I really don't know, guys. Right, let's 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 read the email without further ado. By the way, guys, I know I have to plug this again, but if you're watching this video and you buy gasoline and you're still paying full price for gas, you're wasting your money. There's an app called Get Upside. Link in description. Look at all this, guys. I have 51 bucks sitting in my account. You can cash this out for PayPal, Starbucks, whatever. I just like to use it for my coffee money and to pay for my gas because hey why not anyways so I went out and did uber eats right I got 51 bucks but I also went out and did um, normal ride share and look at these rides guys four dollar ride four dollar ride another four dollar ride thankfully they at least left a one dollar tip <laughs> but yeah it's not it's not like we're getting rich out here guys we know this could not have come at a worse time for you and your families as we find ourselves in the middle of a pandemic and economic crisis. No kidding. With almost 3 million Californians out of a job, our leaders should be focused on creating work opportunities, not creating more uncertainty. They're not creating more uncertainty. What they're doing is trying to get you to pay drivers more. It's really going really really going the extra mile to not give drivers these benefits and money guys by the way i would honestly urge you guys because dar i can just assume that they're going to stretch us out so far sign up for cover they're giving drivers ben they actually care about drivers they've helped drivers get reactivated who've been deactivated they've helped car drivers who've been in car crashes help drivers who get 24 they pro they give 24 telehealth support health support they help with loss of income if you get you know if you get ever get sick um they replace 80 percent of your income 
uh, if you can't work for whatever reason, they're they're great. I definitely recommend checking out Cowork. Protections, benefits, and um, whatever perks, funds. Anyways, moving on. It's not about Cowork. This is about this. I just want to throw that out there as a great alternative. With almost three, yeah. As I said yesterday, rather than lawsuits, we believe there is a better way to work. One that offers flexibility when you want it and more support when you need it. That's what we're proposing for all California drivers in Prop 22. Oh, wow. I didn't realize this email was a whole campaign for us to vote on your proposition. That's what Prop 22 would give you a new benefits and earnings guarantee while preserving the flexibility you value as an independent contractor. Today, we cannot offer this to you without a change to outdated laws. We'll continue to advocate for you and we'll do everything you, we can to protect your access to Uber and apps like ours. But we won't be successful without your help and it starts with voting yes on Prop 22. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to have to look into this more. I'll have to make a follow-up video going over the full, you know, Prop 22. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to... I'm not going to vote yes. I need to look into it more, but... From what I know, I mean, honestly, Dara, if you're watching this, because apparently, you know, you're friends with Harry Campbell now, so you're on YouTube watching the rideshare videos, just give drivers, like, an extra $10,000 per year. Or take the money and give drivers, pay, if you pay us, like, $2 per mile, honestly, why don't you just, why, honestly, why don't you just make drivers employees? I don't get it. You don't need to make drivers on a set schedule, just give drivers benefits, health benefits, and put them on a W-2 rather than a 1099. The reason he's doing that is for tax reasons. I guarantee you. They don't want to pay their taxes. That's what it all comes down to, guys. It has nothing to do with what drivers, how drivers want to be treated fairly, whatever. It just comes down to money. It just comes down to money. The whole reason this whole thing started was because the government realized that um, two main reasons is why is what this whole thing started. Employees versus independent contractors. The government noticed that there are millions of Americans who, number one, get underpaid by Uber, by Uber and all these gig apps, put you know all this wear and tear on their car, all that's not to mention all that stuff, expenses. But two, don't have access to health care. Medical benefits, insurance, paid time off, paid sick leave, overtime pay. You got Uber drivers going out there working 80 hours a week just to pay their bills. And the government was like, drivers and these Americans deserve much more, which I actually agree with. I agree with them. And then this, I'm not advocating for employees, by the way. I just think that Uber's not paying drivers enough and Uber should give drivers these benefits. I think it's crazy. I think they should increase the rates for drivers um, and pay drivers more and maybe give them expenses to pay for their car. I think that would be, I think drivers would be happy with that. Um, and then the second thing that the, gov that the government did this was because they noticed that these huge billion, billion dollar gig company, you know, billion, you know, multi-billion dollar gig companies aren't paying their taxes. So they're basically, you know, they found a loophole to get all these tax write-offs by employing independent contractors, which in my understanding is 100% tax write-off, whereas making employees, they have to pay taxes and all those. So that's, that's all I have for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see my update video where I go over, you know, what actually happens with all this because this is all up in the air. And as you saw in the email, this could be happening within the next eight to nine days. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that and leave the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.